Hey there, welcome to your 13th C++ tutorial and in this video you're going to learn about for loops. Now for loops are uh, in conceptually mostly similar to while loops but they are more compact and easy to use. So first of all let's take a look at the structure of a for loop. So the basic structure of a for loop is like this. Okay, so first of all you have to write for, then within parentheses first of all you have to write initialization statement so here you will initialize something then a semicolon then you have to write the condition then another semicolon and then you have to write the increment statement okay now everything will become clear when I'll give you an example here here I'm, I'm showing you the structure only and this is the body of the for loop uh, just as similar to the while loop okay so as you have seen this uh, let's go and take an example so first of all write for and here we have to write first of all the initialization so in the initialization statement first of all let's write int i equals zero okay so this is what you have to do separately in while loop but here you have to uh, you have to do it here you can do it here okay now then uh, we can put the condition so i less than equals five okay less than five so we want to do this uh, until the value of i is 5. So here the condition is i less than 5 and then we want to do the increment that is we want to increment i plus plus or we can also decrement it. There's nothing there. So uh, while this we want to print for loop is running or anything you want. Okay. So let's now uh, see here's the initialization part in the initialization part we are just creating a variable and initializing it with a value then the condition part in the condition part we can just putting a condition and in the increment part I'm sorry it's increment okay and in the increment part we are incrementing the value so that the for loop just runs and it changes its value okay so it just works similarly to the while loop first time the value of i0 so it checks yes 0 is less than 5 go and run it then it comes here and increments it okay so first of all this happens and this happens and this happens and then after that this happens and when the value is 5 it checks 5 is not less than 5 so it don't run it it doesn't run it and comes out of the while loop okay so let's go and run it as you guys can see for loop is running as been has run 5 times okay 0 to 4 okay until the value of i was 4 from 0 to 4 it ran okay and finally it just came out of the while loop so this was the basic of while loop i hope you guys enjoyed and understood everything if you have any questions write those in comments please like and share thank you very much for watching this video